The AFK Farming Software, I Became Invincible Without Knowing It. Chapter 391, Intense Battle Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light Heavenly Venerate Divine Armament While Qi Ming fought Li Sheng, he secretly deduced the other cultivator's identity and background, but he saw too much fog in front of him. Qi Ming did not have any information about the other party at all. He only guessed that there was a second cultivator. It was too difficult to use these guesses to deduce the information and information of the second Dao cultivator. It was like rootless duckweed that was difficult to continue, so he naturally could not deduce the other party's situation. However, through deduction, the only thing Qi Ming could confirm was that the true existence of the second Dao cultivator was not Qi Ming's delusion. The other party was hidden in the shadows. On the top of the primordial sacred mountain, Qi Ming and Li Sheng fought many times. As the dharmic powers of the two sides collided, various explosions sounded. The battle between the two sides was evenly matched. There was a loud sound. Qi Ming and Li Sheng fought again. Their dharmic powers collided, producing an explosion. A storm of energy swept out and spread in all directions. They quickly pulled apart. Qi Ming, you're indeed a Dao cultivator who can be as famous as me. Your strength is indeed powerful. Li Sheng waved his right hand and summoned his intrinsic immortal treasure. It was like a green lion that roared and transformed into a green lion spear that landed in his hand. This was the green lion spear, a top grade upper world immortal king weapon. Li Sheng had comprehended the Upper World Heavenly Dao and had already fused the power of the Upper World Heavenly Dao into the Green Lion Spear, making it even stronger. Attack! Li Sheng shouted loudly. He held the Green Lion Spear and attacked Qi Ming. The long spear stabbed out. A green spear light pierced through space and contained extremely powerful might. Chaos Great Axe! Qi Ming waved his right hand and three intrinsic immortal treasures tore through the air. The Chaos Great Dao Sword Lotus, the Chaos World Piercing Sword, and the Chaos Buzz Who Mountain emitted a dazzling light. The three intrinsic immortal treasures fused into one and transformed into a Chaos Great Axe. It was surrounded by a chaotic fog of light and contained an even more terrifying power. Qi Ming and Li Shang fought again. The Green Lion Spear fought the Chaos Great Axe. Although Qi Ming's intrinsic immortal treasure was only a top-grade zenith heaven golden immortal realm immortal treasure, he grasped the power of the heaven and earth great Dao and fused it into it, causing the power of the chaos great axe to increase greatly. Although Li Sheng's green lion spear was a top-grade upper world immortal king weapon and had fused with the power of the upper world's heavenly Dao, it could not defeat Qi Ming's chaos great axe. The intrinsic immortal treasures of the two sides were evenly matched. You. Li Sheng's gaze was solemn and even a little shocked. Up until now, he had finally sensed Qi Ming's cultivation, your cultivation is actually only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. Your intrinsic immortal treasure is only a top grade Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm Immortal Treasure. This. Li Sheng found it a little unbelievable, I'm already a late stage Upper World Immortal King. My intrinsic immortal treasure is even a top-grade upper world immortal king artifact. It even has the enhancement of the upper world's heavenly Dao power. It's actually unable to do anything to your intrinsic immortal treasure. When the battle began, Qi Ming had already used the great Dao divine power, Dao integration. Therefore, he could mobilize the power of the heaven and earth great Dao. During the battle with Li Sheng, Qi Ming added the power of the heaven and earth great Dao to every move, causing the corresponding divine powers and moves to be greatly amplified. Li Sheng was a Dao cultivator, and his cultivation level had even reached the late stage immortal king realm of the upper world. His strength was terrifying, and he was already the strongest enemy Qi Ming had encountered. Attack! Li Sheng roared and attacked Qi Ming. With a wave of his right hand, the green lion spear stabbed out, but it transformed into azure dragons that roared and shook the heavens and the earth. Qi Ming's gaze was cold. He also used great divine power techniques one after another to block Li Sheng's attack. 
a terrifying battle erupted in the primordial demon territory. Around the battlefield, a scene of space collapsing appeared. The aftershock of the battle spread, producing a terrifying destructive force. Mountain peaks collapsed, and the ground cracked. It was a scene of destruction. Be it Qi Ming or Li Sheng, their strength was incomparably powerful. Almost all of them had already reached the invincible level below the Venerate Realm. The two sides fought intensely as the battle became more and more intense. On the epic battlefield, in the three main battlefields, the primordial demon sects demon sect army and the nine provinces immortal dynasty formed an alliance of all races. The battle of the Deo sect alliance became more and more intense and miserable. More and more immortals died. In fact, upper world immortal kings had already begun to die. At this moment, another group of upper world immortal kings who had been hiding for a long time stole into the epic battlefield and quietly infiltrated the primordial demon territory to search for the Deo validation Deo fruit. They had just stepped into the primordial demon territory when they felt a terrifying battle energy storm. They raised their heads and saw the battle between Qi Ming and Li Sheng. There's a battle. What happened? That's he's Li Cheng. That Dao cultivator from the Dao sect. This. Didn't Li Sheng mysteriously disappear? Why is he here? Li Sheng was only missing, but it doesn't mean that he's dead. Who was the other person who fought Li Sheng? Qi Ming. It's Qi Ming. First on the Nine Provinces Immortal Execution List, Qi Ming. Gasp. Li Sheng is a Dao cultivator, and Qi Ming is also a Dao cultivator. Therefore, is this a battle between Dao cultivators? This fluctuation in power are really too terrifying. It's simply unimaginable. We're not their match at all. So, Qi Ming and Li Sheng are fighting for the Dao validation Dao fruit. Who can win? The second batch of immortal kings who had infiltrated looked at the battle between Qi Ming and Li Sheng. When they sensed the terrifying aftershock of the battle, they were shocked and disgust animatedly. Between the primordial demon territory and the outside world was an invisible screen of light. It was an extremely vast array that separated the primordial demon sect from the outside world. Over the years, it gradually formed a primitive demon territory that was independent of the outside world. Normally speaking, the invisible screen formed by the primordial demon sex sect protection array was able to block people from the outside world from entering. However, these upper world immortal kings had very brilliant methods. Coupled with the eruption of the epic battle, all the disciples and elders of the primordial demon sect were basically sent to participate in the battle. The sect protection array could not stop these immortal kings. Heaven and Earth Limitless Life Scripture Qi Ming's gaze was cold as he quickly used a supreme divine power technique. Golden Buddha light blossomed and saved all living beings, illuminating the world. He heard. If, when I attain Buddhahood, the sentient beings of the ten quarters who, with sincere and entrusting heart, aspire to be born in my land and say my name even ten times, should not be born there, may I not attain the perfect enlightenment. Excluded are those who commit the five grave offenses and those who slander the right dharma. If, when I attain Buddhahood, the sentient beings of the ten quarters, while awakening the mind aspiring for enlightenment and performing meritorious acts, should desire to be born in my land with sincere aspiration, and yet should I not appear before them at the moment of death surrounded by a host of sages, may I not attain the perfect enlightenment. If, when I attain Buddhahood, the sentient beings of the ten quarters, upon hearing my name, should place their thoughts on my land, cultivate the roots of virtue, and direct their merit with sincere mind desiring to be born in my land, and yet not ultimately attain birth, may I not attain the perfect enlightenment. Heaven and earth are limitless, the world is free. The scriptures that Qi Ming was chanting were all augmented with the supreme Buddhist truths of the world. They contained the heaven and earth rules, heaven and earth laws, and the true intent of the heaven and earth heavenly Dao. Dharmic powers transformed into golden scriptures. It contained true supreme power. Not only that, Qi Ming circulated the power of the heaven and earth great Dao and augmented the Buddhist scripture, 
causing its power to be even stronger. Buddha light illuminated the heavens and was incomparably dazzling and resplendent. It contained supreme pressure. A layer of primordial purple light attached to the golden Sanskrit scripture enveloped Li Sheng, making him feel a huge pressure. It was even as if his dharmic powers were about to be restricted. Supreme Divine Power Li Cheng roared and felt a terrifying pressure. It made his scalp go numb and he felt as if death was imminent. He did not dare to be careless and used a powerful Supreme Divine Power technique. Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light The dharmic powers in Li Cheng's body erupted and surged out, turning into countless runes that gathered. They fused with the power of the upper world's heavenly Dao and transformed into the Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light. The Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light executed by Li Sheng was divided into, Supreme Pure, Jade Pure, Grand Pure, Void Pure, True Pure, Origin Pure, Spirit Pure, Intent Pure, and Cardinal Pure. Every single one of them had invincible might. They swept the universe, divided the turbid Qi, settled the vital Qi, and established the chaos. Once they were truly executed, all evil would not be able to touch them. When upper world immortal kings fell into the clear light, they would transform into powder and clear water that obliterated everything. Under such circumstances, Qi Ming and Li Sheng's supreme divine power technique faced each other head on. The nine pure immortal light had nine colors and transformed into a vortex that obliterated Qi Ming's golden runes one by one. All kinds of explosions sounded. Another incomparably terrifying explosion sounded. Qi Ming's golden runes and Buddhist scripture's power were destroyed. Li Sheng's nine pure immortal light was also obliterated. This time, the battle ended in a draw. The energy produced by the explosion spread out like a shock wave. Li Cheng could not defend in time and was sent flying by this shock wave, spitting out blood. At this dangerous moment, Qi Ming's heavenly Dao treasure appeared in time. The space-time gate and the snake ring of fate appeared out of thin air and blocked this shock wave. Heavenly Dao Treasure Li Sheng raised his head, shock appearing on his face, I didn't expect you to actually have heavenly Dao treasures in your hand. He also grasped a heavenly Dao treasure. The heavenly Dao treasure in Li Sheng's hand was what he had obtained in the heavenly venerate legacy domain. It was a high-grade postnatal Heavenly Deo treasure called the Heavenly Venerate Divine Armament. Heavenly Venerate Divine Armament. Li Sheng shouted, Come out! A dazzling green light surged out of Li Sheng's body. An incomparably dense light condensed and transformed into a divine weapon that was more than 30,000 feet tall. This divine weapon's appearance was very strange. It was like a saber but not a saber, a sword but not a sword. It was like a spear but not a spear. It was a divine weapon with an irregular shape. Attack! Li Sheng waved his right hand, and the heavenly venerate divine armament directly attacked Qi Ming under his control. Space was directly slashed apart, and it could be said to be invincible. Qi Ming felt a huge pressure. Chapter 392, Heart of a Heavenly Dao Immortal King Qi Ming handed the heaven and earth universe painting to red dust. He only had two heavenly Dao treasures left. On the second main battlefield, the world's freedom Buddha and Fang Aryu had joined forces. Coupled with the heaven and earth universe painting, they had already suppressed Qi Hong Ling. On the second main battlefield, the second demon sect army led by the world's freedom Buddha and the others had the upper hand and suppressed the army of the Myriad Race Alliance. However, it was not so easy to obtain victory in this battle. Great Origin Technique Qi Ming waved his left hand, and dharmic powers surged out, space-time gate. The artifact spirit origin of the space-time gate appeared. Under Qi Ming's control, the artifact spirit origin fused with the space-time gate, and the power of the space-time gate erupted. Thick spatial origin power blossomed and enveloped the space-time gate. It rushed out and formed an incomparably vast vortex that emitted a pure silver dazzling light. Li Sheng's heavenly venerate divine armament struck the space-time gate and exploded, repelling it. Nine pure heavenly Dao. Break. Li Sheng shouted and attacked with all his might. The power produced was simply indescribable. 
The power of the heavenly venerate divine armament defeated the vortex and defense formed by the space-time gate. There was a loud sound. The spatial vortex exploded. The space-time gate was sent flying by Li Sheng. It flew extremely far away and shattered the space along the way. After the heavenly venerate divine armament sent the space-time gate flying, it directly attacked Qi Ming. Snake Ring of Fate Qi Ming's gaze was cold. Although the space-time gate was sent flying, Qi Ming did not panic at all and was very calm. He waved his hands, and the huge silver snake ring landed. The Toyer of Fate appeared and opened its hands. In an extremely dazzling silver light, the Toyer of Fate and the Snake Ring of Fate fused. Snake of Fate Qi Ming pressed down with his right hand, and the Snake Ring of Fate underwent a huge change. It transformed from a very huge silver snake ring to a pure silver heaven-devouring python. This heaven-devouring python was too huge. It was like a planet as it appeared in the sky. It roared at the sky and roared. From top to bottom, it was surrounded by the power of fate. Gasp! Oh my heavens! Is this the power of a Deo cultivator? Is this the power of a Deo cultivator? Too terrifying! The battle between Li Sheng and Qi Ming is not something we can participate in at all. This power and strength are even enough to instantly kill us. It's really too powerful. Both Li Sheng and Qi Ming have heavenly Dao treasures. Who can win between them? He 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 let them fight. Fight with all your might. It's best if the two of them are mutually injured. This way, we can fish for benefits. Outside Qi Ming and Li Sheng's battlefield, in the primordial demon territory. The immortal kings who had infiltrated were watching the battle between Qi Ming and Li Sheng. Their faces were filled with reverence, shocked that they were too powerful. They did not leave. Instead, they took this opportunity to search for the whereabouts of the Dao Validation Dao fruit in the primordial demon territory. They could either hide in secret again and wait for the battle between Qi Ming and Li Shang to end, or they could search for an opportunity to deal with them during the battle in an ambush. Go! Qi Ming shouted, Snake of Fate, tear apart the enemy in front of you. The Fate Python roared with a might that could devour the heavens. It roared out an extremely terrifying pillar of light that contained the power to obliterate everything. The pillar of fate light that the fate python roared out collided with the heavenly venerate divine armament, producing a world-shaking explosion that resounded throughout the world. Green and pure silver light flashed as they collided and intertwined. Accompanied by various explosions, it was deafening. Finally, there was a loud sound. What? Li Sheng was shocked. Li Sheng screamed and spat out blood. His heavenly venerate divine armament was defeated by the snake ring of fate. The green light shattered and dissipated, and the remaining power of the ring struck Li Sheng's body. Boom! Li Sheng screamed again as his immortal body was sent flying. The heavenly venerate divine armament in his hand almost left his hand, and he flew extremely far before stabilizing his body. Cough cough! Li Sheng coughed up blood. His expression was gloomy and his expression was very solemn as he looked at Qi Ming, Qi Ming, you actually grasped two heavenly Dao treasures. This is unexpected. The space-time gate and the snake ring of fate returned to Qi Ming's side again. They emitted a silver light that was like two silver moons floating. It was majestic. Li Sheng lost. This. Qi Ming is indeed worthy of being the first cultivator on the Nine Provinces Immortal Execution List. Back then, under the heavy pursuit of the Nine Provinces' immortal dynasty, he could even escape with his life. Now, he has already completely grown. Although Li Sheng is also a Dao cultivator, he's clearly not Qi Ming's match and has already lost. I don't think so. Haven't you sensed it? Qi Ming's cultivation is only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm and Li Sheng's cultivation has already reached the late-stage Immortal King realm. There's an entire realm of difference between the two. Even if Qi Ming possesses two heavenly Dao treasures, it's impossible for him to be Li Sheng's match in the end. After all, both sides are Dao cultivators. 
the difference in their cultivation is very obvious. No, no, no. Looks like you haven't reacted until now. Qi Ming is only at the late stage Golden Immortal Realm, but he can suppress Li Sheng, who is already at the late stage Immortal King Realm. This strength and methods are Qi Ming's true terror. He can actually surpass his cultivation realm to suppress Li Sheng. Gasp! The Upper World Immortal Kings finally understood. As fellow Dao cultivators, Qi Ming could surpass a major realm to suppress the late stage Immortal King Li Sheng. It was simply terrifying. Qi Ming's gaze was cold, hand over your Dao seed and I can consider letting you live. Otherwise, I can only personally come and take it. Ha ha ha. Li Sheng stabilized the injuries on his body. He circulated his dharmic powers, and the wound quickly healed, but his internal injuries were not so easy to heal, Qi Ming. Do you really think you'll win? Li Sheng raised his head, his gaze filled with absolute confidence as he shouted, I admit that I did not expect your strength to be so powerful. It has exceeded my expectations. However, you're only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm after all, not an upper world immortal king. Therefore, your 129,600 Heavenly Dao Immortal Apertures have yet to fuse completely and condense the Heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart. This is your greatest miscalculation. Li Sheng released all his dharmic powers. With him as the center, a myriad foot long green light blossomed. He seemed to have transformed into a green sun. The power of the heavenly Dao was released, producing a terrifying pressure. This this is. Immortal King's heart. That's right. Qi Ming has yet to condense the Immortal King's heart. To the upper world Immortal Kings, the Immortal King's heart is the strongest method. Li Sheng is going all out. The following battle is the most important. The upper world immortal kings felt such a terrifying pressure, making their scalps go numb. Their bodies trembled, and their eyes widened as they stared at the battlefield. They were very shocked. Great Dao Immortal Aperture. Qi Ming took a deep breath and shouted, Open. With him as the center, vortex holes that were like black holes appeared in the sky, ground, and four directions connecting Qi Ming's 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures. Every Great Dao Immortal Aperture was a small world. This this. Immortal Aperture. How terrifying. So a Dao cultivator's Immortal Aperture can evolve to such a state. Impressive. Qi Ming has to give it his all. The Immortal Aperture is only an Immortal Aperture, it can't resist the Immortal King's heart. What will Qi Ming do? The upper world immortal king stared at Qi Ming. Li Sheng roared again, you want to use the heavenly Dao immortal aperture to resist the heart of the heavenly Dao immortal king. You're dreaming. This is just a delusion. You're being unrealistic. You will definitely lose. Great Dao supremacies. Qi Ming's gaze was indifferent and filled with killing intent. With a thought, he waved his hand and streaks of light tore through the air as 129,600 Dao supremacies walked out. Attack! Qi Ming shouted, destroy him! Supreme Karma Technique! Myriad Techniques returned to one. Great Origin Technique! Great Calamity Technique! Heavenly Constellation Array! Earth Fiend Array! Samadhi Fire! In an instant, Qi Ming attacked first and used the Heaven and Earth Limitless Life Scripture. Behind him, the 129,600 Dao Supremacies also used their divine powers. Under such circumstances, a total of 129,601 divine powers attacked Li Sheng. Such a scene was extremely magnificent. It was incomparably grand. It was extremely shocking. Oh God! Qi Ming actually has such methods. This this. A total of 129,601 divine powers. Such a full-powered strike. Too powerful. The upper world immortal kings were extremely shocked. Ha ha ha. Li Sheng laughed wildly and was extremely insolent. 
Facing Qi Ming's methods, he was not afraid at all, I'll let you see the true power of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart now. Come on! Heavenly Dao Avatar Li Sheng opened his hands. The Heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart above his head blossomed with an incomparably dazzling green light as projections appeared one after another. In an instant, Li Sheng's Heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart had actually produced 129,600 Heavenly Dao Avatars. Every Heavenly Dao Avatar looked illusory, but they were extremely real and possessed true combat strength. The strength of every Heavenly Dao Avatar was almost identical to his main body. Chapter 393, Great Dao Finger Li Sheng's Heavenly Dao Avatar also grasped powerful divine powers. Its exact strength was naturally quite terrifying. At this moment, Qi Ming's Great Dao Supremacies fought Li Sheng's Heavenly Dao Avatars. On the battlefield, in the surrounding space, all kinds of divine powers fought and killed each other, producing various explosions and clamors. Space was shattered, and the extremely terrifying aftershock of the battle spread out. There were too many Great Dao Supremacies and Heavenly Dao Avatars. The scene of the battle was simply dazzling and overwhelming. Ha ha ha! Li Sheng laughed wildly. His expression was extremely insolent. With a wave of his hand, Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light tore through the air and attacked Qi Ming like a gorgeous rainbow. Heaven and Earth Limitless Life Scripture Qi Ming shouted loudly. The Golden Buddhist culture transformed into a golden river that was incomparably dazzling as it fought head-on with Li Sheng's Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light. There was a loud sound. The Golden River of Runes and the Supreme Nine Pure Immortal Light dissipated at the same time. On the battlefield, Dao Supremacies and Heavenly Dao Avatars exploded one after another. Every time they exploded, they were like fireworks. So powerful! Li Sheng has already used the heart of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King and is actually unable to suppress Qi Ming. Gasp! Qi Ming's strength is too strong. Unbelievable! Could it be that Qi Ming can really cross a major realm to defeat Li Sheng, who is already a late-stage upper-world Immortal King? Unbelievable! In the surroundings, the Immortal Kings could not help but cry out. Attack! Li Sheng's gaze was cold as he shouted. He attacked Qi Ming again. He held the heavenly venerate divine armament and pierced towards him like a dazzling rainbow light. Space-time gate, snake ring of fate. Qi Ming waved his right hand, and two heavenly Dao treasures flew out at the same time, rise. The space-time gate blocked at the front and enveloped the power of space and time. However, it was sent flying by Li Sheng's heavenly venerate divine armament again. The snake ring of fate quickly activated and transformed into a fate python. Finally, Li Cheng still had the advantage. He used the heavenly venerate divine armament to suppress the snake ring of fate. Accompanied by an explosion, a dazzling white light blossomed and waves of shock waves spread. Qi Ming was forced back, and blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. Qi Ming is injured. As expected. Li Sheng used the Immortal King's heart. With the enhancement of the Immortal King's heart, his strength increased greatly. Qi Ming is clearly at a disadvantage. Qi Ming is probably really going to lose. The Upper World Immortal Kings saw the situation on the battlefield and guessed. Ha ha ha. Li Sheng's gaze was cold and filled with killing intent as he laughed wildly, Qi Ming. You're dead for sure. You'll definitely become a stepping stone for me to reach the Venerate Realm. The Dao seed you nurtured will become my resource to continue growing. Dao Integration Qi Ming waved his hands, and the space-time gate and the snake ring of fate flew out. Light flashed and blocked Li Sheng's heavenly Venerate Divine Armament. The three heavenly Dao treasures fought in the air. At this moment, around the battlefield. Qi Ming's 129,600 Great Dao Supremacies fought Li Sheng's 129,600 Heavenly Dao Avatars. The two sides were evenly matched. Every second, Great Dao Supremacies and Heavenly Dao Avatars would be obliterated. With the enhancement of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart, 
Li Sheng's strength had indeed increased greatly. Only then did he suppress Qi Ming and injure him. At this moment, Qi Ming underwent Dao integration. The power of the heaven and earth great Dao surged. It was invisible and intangible, but his body emitted a dense primordial purple light. Qi Ming had already used the great Dao divine power, Dao integration to the limit. He received and used more power of the heaven and earth great Dao to strengthen himself. Great Dao Immortal Aperture Merge Qi Ming opened his hands. He seemed to have fused with heaven and earth, as if he wanted to become a part of the great Dao of heaven and earth, as if he wanted to become the embodiment of the great Dao of heaven and earth. In the four directions, a total of 129,600 great Dao immortal apertures approached each other. Black holes that were like vortexes constantly gathered and slowly overlapped. Qi Ming's current realm was that of a half-step upper world immortal king. Although he had not truly stepped into the upper world immortal king realm and had not truly condensed the heart of a great Dao immortal king, he could fuse all the great Dao immortal apertures. Now, Qi Ming tried to fuse the 129,600 great Dao immortal apertures. Black hole vortexes overlapped and fused together, gathering all his strength. Crack! Crack! With Qi Ming as the center, the surrounding space shattered, and cracks appeared. They spread out like a spider web. He had already successfully fused the initial 129,600 great Dao immortal apertures. The power produced surpassed his imagination, causing the surrounding space to be slightly unbearable. It was too terrifying. Finally, the fusion of the 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures was successful. Above Qi Ming, an incomparably huge black vortex appeared. This was no longer as terrifying as the spatial black hole described. The pitch black vortex entrance contained a power that could destroy everything. In fact, Qi Ming could not estimate how terrifying his power would be. He took a deep breath and his gaze was solemn. He could not even control the black vortex after successfully fusing. It had already reached the limit. If he was careless, if the black vortex exploded, even Qi Ming himself would be torn apart. In the world, the power of the heaven and earth great Dao constantly augmented him. Gradually, on Qi Ming's body and around the black vortex, an increasingly dense primordial purple light appeared. Qi Ming had not attacked, but the aura he emitted made all the upper world immortal kings present unable to breathe. This this. I I feel like I can't move. Oh God! What method did Qi Ming use? The upper world immortal kings were shocked. Li Sheng! Qi Ming looked at the other party and had already gathered all his strength. He shouted, even I don't know how strong this next strike is. If you can survive it you win. If you can't take it, you will definitely be reduced to ashes. Ha ha ha. Li Sheng was not afraid at all. Instead, his fighting spirit was high and his gaze was burning. He did not have any fear and only had the invincible faith to advance courageously, Qi Ming, you can't defeat me. I will definitely break through the limit of the immortal realm and step into the venerate realm. You will only become my stepping stone. Come and fight. Li Sheng opened his hands. His body transformed into a dazzling green light that was incomparably dazzling. It transformed into an origin light that fused into the heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart. Swish. 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 The next moment, the surrounding heavenly Dao avatars transformed into streaks of light that fused back into the heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart. It transformed into a green sun that illuminated the world. Next, it would also be Li Sheng's strongest attack. Great Dao Finger Qi Ming took a deep breath and formed hand seals. The Dao Supremacies also transformed into streaks of light that entered the black vortex hole above his head and fused into it. Attack Qi Ming successfully formed the seal. His hands joined together and locked onto Li Sheng. He pointed with his hands, and the black vortex above his head shook incomparably violently. Space shattered, and the heavens and the earth shook. 
The next moment, a lifelike, simple, and unadorned great deo finger that was enveloped in hazy primordial purple light slowly stretched out from the black vortex hole. This was the great deo finger. Observing carefully, the great deo finger was identical to a real finger. There were clear finger patterns, clear hair, and clear wrinkles and finger patterns. Qi Ming used all his strength, used all his methods, and fused all his strength. He only condensed a finger of the heaven and earth great deo. The moment the great deo finger appeared, heaven and earth fell silent. All of everything, be it light or energy, were absorbed by the great deo finger. Primordial purple light surged as it directly landed on Li Cheng. Attack! Li Cheng's voice sounded from the heavenly deo immortal king's heart and he shouted, Nine pure heavenly deo supreme tribulation light! Boom! In an instant, a nine-colored pillar of light directly blasted out with the heavenly deo immortal king's heart as the source. It contained all of Li Cheng's strength, all his methods, all his divine powers, and all his energy condensed into such a powerful strike. Boom! Qi Ming's great Dao finger collided with Li Sheng's nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light. The light at the tip of his finger collided with the nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light, but it was silent. Accompanied by a fluctuation of the heaven and earth great Dao, the primordial purple light flickered. Li Sheng's nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light began to be obliterated. It was as if it was obliterated by an indescribable force. The nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light gradually dissipated. No. 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 Li Sheng's eyes widened and he was incomparably shocked. Fear surged in his heart, but he was incomparably unwilling. He roared and squeezed out every trace of strength in his body. It was useless. Qi Ming's great Dao finger defeated everything and was simply impossible to resist. After obliterating the nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light, it continued to fall on Li Sheng's heavenly Dao immortal king heart. How can this be? Li Sheng screamed loudly. At this critical moment, Li Sheng used all his strength and mobilized all his strength in a vain attempt to escape. However, he discovered that the surrounding space had already been completely sealed. He could not escape or run. He could only fight head on. Li Sheng still could not block Qi Ming's great Dao finger. His heavenly Dao immortal king's heart began to shatter and collapse. After Qi Ming's great Dao finger struck the heart, it was like a green sun. Countless cracks appeared and spread to the entire body. Finally, Qi Ming's great Dao finger pierced through Li Sheng's heavenly Dao immortal king light. However, before Qi Ming's great Dao finger exhausted all its strength, the aftershock of the great Dao finger continued to spread forward. Li Sheng let out a final miserable cry. Chapter 394, Primordial Province Cracks Into Two The heavenly Dao immortal king's heart was Li Sheng's foundation, his foundation, and the source of all his strength. After Qi Ming's great Dao finger pierced through the heavenly Dao immortal king's heart, it was already covered in countless cracks. It was almost completely shattered. The power of the great Dao finger pierced through the heart of the heavenly Dao immortal king and obliterated all of Li Cheng's vitality, power, and source. The undying nature of Li Cheng's immortal king consciousness was also completely defeated by the power contained in the great Dao finger. Li Sheng used his full strength. When he used the nine pure heavenly Dao supreme tribulation light, his main body had already fused with the heart of the heavenly Dao immortal king. Under such circumstances, Li Sheng could not escape. This this. Li Sheng, he he. The immortal king's heart has been pierced. Gasp. Too strong, Qi Ming is too strong. This is too terrifying. As a fellow Dao cultivator, Qi Ming is only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm in his cultivation level. However, he defeated the late stage Upper World Immortal King, Li Sheng, and pierced through his heart. The Immortal King's heart has been pierced. With such an injury, even if he doesn't die, he will definitely be heavily injured or not far from death. Li Sheng completely lost. He can even die. 
The upper world immortal kings widened their eyes and exclaimed. The situation on the battlefield changed continuously, but Qi Ming still defeated Li Sheng and obtained the final victory. Not not good. Run. That that is. The next moment, the upper world immortal kings who had infiltrated the primordial demon territory became terrified. They clearly saw that after Qi Ming's great Dao finger defeated Li Sheng's heavenly Dao immortal king heart, it did not exhaust all its strength. The aftershock of the great Dao finger directly landed on the ground in front of them. Run! Without any hesitation, the surrounding upper world immortal kings used their divine power escape technique and transformed into streaks of light that tore through the air and fled this place. Boom! Qi Ming's great Dao finger struck the ground of the primordial demon territory under the gazes of the surrounding immortal kings and many living beings, producing a truly destructive scene. Crack! Crack! It was obvious. After the great Dao finger landed on the ground of the primordial demon territory, the power contained in it destroyed everything and defeated everything. It constantly pierced through the ground and spread deep. A true scene of the ground collapsing appeared. The entire primordial demon territory shook violently. The ground shattered. With the bottomless hole pierced by the great Dao finger as the source, a huge crack in the ground spread towards the two ends. Crack! 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 Gasp! Qi Ming stood in the sky and looked down at the ground. An incomparably shocked expression could not help but appear on his face. He found it a little unbelievable and very shocked. It was too terrifying. The incomparably huge crack constantly spread and could not stop. In a short period of time, the entire primordial demon territory was split into two. Boom! As the primordial demon territory cracked into two, the primordial demon sex sect protection array also collapsed. In the surroundings, the invisible screen of light quickly dissipated. The countless fiendish chi, demonic chi, resentment and demonic energy that had accumulated in the primordial demon territory for countless years were quickly diluted, becoming a part of the heaven and earth energy. Oh oh my god! This this! It's only aftershock, this is only aftershock! Gasp! Too strong, too strong! Qi Ming's strike not only defeated Li Sheng, who is also a Dao cultivator, but the aftershock of this finger landed on the ground and tore it into two. The entire primordial demon territory was split into two. No. No. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. The crack is still spreading. The power of Qi Ming's finger is actually penetrating the entire primordial province. Around the primordial demon territory, many upper world immortal kings had already scattered. They stood around and looked around. They clearly saw a huge crack tear open the entire primordial demon territory. Crack! Crack! Outside the primordial demon territory, on the three main battlefields, the ground cracked, and a huge crack appeared. It was like an abyss that was bottomless. Qi Ming's great Dao finger actually completely pierced through the ground of the primordial province, piercing through the entire place. What happened? Why did the ground collapse? The primordial demon territory has cracked. This. The Nine Provinces Immortal Dynasty, the Myriad Race Alliance, the Dao Sect Alliance, the Primordial Demon Sect, the other itinerant immortals, and the other factions were all shocked by this change. The ground shook. This was truly heaven collapsing and earth shattering. Gasp! The immortal kings and zenith heavens flew into the sky and looked at the surrounding land. They were all shocked by the scene in front of them. All the immortal king experts present circulated their divine powers and looked around. They clearly saw the entire primordial province crack. Lava surged out of the cracked ground. Great rivers surged, and mountains cracked. All kinds of destructive scenes appeared on the primordial province's continent. It caused countless living beings to die. This. Qi Ming took a deep breath, and above his head, he said, the primordial province actually cracked into two too strong. 
This attack fused 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures and all the divine powers and methods. The full powered strike it used condensed into a finger of the heavenly Dao. However, the true power of the Great Dao finger not only killed Li Cheng, but the residual power actually completely pierced through the entire primordial province's continent and split it into two. This was because the primordial province had cracked open. In the sky, various dark clouds gathered. All kinds of tribulation chi gathered, producing various thunder clouds and tribulation clouds. Countless lightning bolts danced like flood dragons or pythons. This this. The primordial province split open. It completely split open. Gasp. What exactly is going on? Why is this happening? What kind of powerful existence is it to actually split the entire primordial province into two? This is unbelievable. Could it be that a heavenly venerate has descended? On the three main battlefields, the nine provinces immortal emperor, Qing Fiyun, Qi Hongling, the sect master of the Dao sect, Zhang Taiyu, and the other masters of the nine provinces, as well as the many upper world immortal kings who cultivated the rules, were all shocked by this scene. The battle actually stopped for a moment. In the primordial demon territory, Li Sheng was already at the end of his life. At the last moment, his scattered consciousness gathered again. On the shattered heart of the heavenly Dao Immortal King, an illusory and slightly transparent figure appeared. I, I actually lost. Li Sheng's heart was filled with unwillingness, but when he turned around and saw the primordial province that was completely torn into two, Li Sheng fell into complete silence. Stunned. He was really stunned. This this is impossible. Li Sheng cried out involuntarily, How is this possible? How is it possible? The primordial province, one of the nine provinces, was actually completely pierced and torn into two. Yu Yu. Li Sheng's consciousness looked at Qi Ming and could not help but ask. Are you really only a Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal? How can you be a Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal? Also, are you really cultivating the Heavenly Dao? Li Sheng was a Dao cultivator. Although he had only been a Dao cultivator for millions of years, and he had spent most of his time in seclusion in the Heavenly Venerate Legacy Realm, Li Sheng was quite knowledgeable and knew many secrets. For example, Li Sheng knew that Dao cultivators were divided into, cultivating the heavenly Dao and cultivating the great Dao. Cultivating the heavenly Dao was to comprehend the upper world heavenly Dao and grasp the power of the upper world's heavenly Dao. As long as he did not die midway, he had a chance of reaching the eternal supreme venerate realm in the future. Cultivating the great Dao above the heavenly Dao was a truly unbelievable feat. He comprehended the myriad worlds in the heavens, the void universe sea, and was omnipresent. It contained all the heaven and earth great Dao in the world and grasped the power of the heaven and earth great Dao. As long as he did not die midway, in the future, there was a chance to break through the limit of the upper world and reach the source of everything in the worlds. That was an unimaginable level. Qi Ming slowly raised his right hand, and his gaze was indifferent. He did not answer Li Sheng's question nor did he want to answer, nor was there a need to. The primordial purple light flickered and condensed in his palm, turning into a group of light that flew out and completely obliterated Li Sheng's remaining consciousness. Break. Qi Ming waved his left hand, and dharmic powers surged out. Chaos-like light fog spread and enveloped the shattered heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart, stripping all the fragments away. His strike just now had mobilized all his strength and consumed a large amount of dharmic powers. Currently, there was less than a tenth of his dharmic powers left. Found you. Qi Ming's eyes lit up. After stripping all the fragments, the inner core of the heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart was revealed. It emitted a nine-colored light like an oval seed the size of a thumb. This was the Dao seed. In an instant, the moment the Dao seed appeared, an extremely terrifying devouring power spread out with the Dao Seed as the source. It absorbed all the heaven and earth tribulation chi in the nine provinces, 
as well as the fate, karma, negative energy, debt, and various other energies produced after the deaths of various living immortal kings. In the blink of an eye, it was as if a terrifying storm had formed. That is. What is it? Li Sheng left something behind after he died. What is it? Devouring the heaven and earth tribulation Qi. The epic calamity has changed. This this. It's like a seed. In the surroundings, when the many upper world immortal kings saw this situation, the appearance of the Dao seed attracted the attention of all the living beings. They looked over. Not only that, after the upper world immortal kings saw the Dao seed, desire came from the depths of their bodies, souls, and consciousness. They yearned to obtain the Dao seed and absorb it. This was an instinctive urge. It was simply impossible to restrain. Chapter 395, Refining the Dao Seed, Second Dao Cultivator in the Nine Provinces Qi Ming quickly formed hand seals. As he circulated his cultivation method, the huge black vortex above his head quickly spread out and divided into 129,600 great Dao immortal apertures. He quickly opened his inventory and took out a large number of top-grade immortal crystals. He fused them into the 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures and absorbed and refined these immortal crystals. In an extremely short period of time, he quickly recovered his dharmic powers and consumption. He circulated his divine power. The injuries were also quickly recovering. Ha ha ha! It's mine, it's mine! Kill! 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 At this moment, Many upper world immortal kings had already arrived in front of Qi Ming. Their speed was very fast. They were like streaks of lightning as they rushed towards the Dao seed to snatch it. You're courting death. Qi Ming's gaze was cold. Die. Qi Ming waved his right hand, and the snake ring of fate tore through the air and transformed into an incomparably huge heaven devouring python. It roared repeatedly and killed the upper world immortal kings who were fighting for the Dao seed. A miserable cry sounded. This was completely one-sided. Before the dozens of upper world immortal kings whose minds and minds had been blinded by greed could come into contact with the light of the Dao seed, they were obliterated by Qi Ming into ashes without a corpse left. Gasp! So so powerful! Too too terrifying! Don't be impulsive! The relatively calm upper world immortal kings jolted and slowly returned to their senses. Cold sweat broke out all over their bodies as their hearts trembled. Qi Ming was too powerful. These upper world immortal kings actually wanted to snatch his Dao seed. They were simply courting death. Is the Dao seed transforming? Qi Ming looked at the Dao seed in front of him. It had absorbed a large amount of epic tribulation Qi the fate of all living beings in the nine provinces domain, karma, debt, energy, and so on. It was transforming towards the Dao validation Dao fruit. This was only the beginning. If it wanted to complete the complete transformation, it needed a very long time. He probably had to wait until the epic calamity truly passed before it could completely nurture and transform successfully. Too slow. Qi Ming frowned. He did not want to wait for so long. Qi Ming discovered that the aura produced by the transformation of the Dao seed was actually a little similar to the Chaos Great Dao Heaven and Earth Rune, but it was only similar. He pondered for a moment and pondered in his heart, after the Dao seed completes its transformation, it will be the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. Is there a connection between the Chaos Heaven and Earth Great Dao Rune and the Dao Validation Dao Fruit? Time passed. Qi Ming carefully sensed and observed the epic calamity of the Nine Provinces domain. In the Nine Provinces domain, the epic tribulation Qi surged like an invisible fog that enveloped the entire Nine Provinces domain and all the living beings in it, affecting their minds and thoughts. The heavier the negative karma on his body and the deeper his negative karma, the more he would be affected by the epic tribulation Qi, causing his mind to be chaotic and be unable to see the truth of the world. He would make various mistakes and walk into the realm of death without knowing. In the surroundings, more and more upper world immortal kings gathered. When the Dao seed appeared, 
all the upper world immortal kings and zenith heaven golden immortals were attracted by it. Under the influence of the epic tribulation Qi, they were even more impulsive and unable to restrain themselves. Qi Ming killed more than ten upper world immortal kings on the spot, indeed shocking the other immortal kings. However, the temptation of the Dao Seed was too great. More and more upper world immortal kings quickly surrounded Qi Ming. You still want to snatch the Dao Seed. Qi Ming's gaze was cold, you're all courting death. Chaos Great Dao Scripture Qi Ming was paying attention to his surroundings. Thick epic tribulation Qi surged and enveloped his entire body, but it could not affect him. He cultivated the Great Dao and had the protection of the Heaven and Earth Great Dao. He was untainted by the Heaven and Earth tribulation Qi and did not have any providence. He would not be affected by any tribulation. He was truly carefree. Qi Ming's strength is too strong. As a Dao cultivator, Li Sheng is clearly already at the late stage Immortal King realm, while Qi Ming is only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal realm. Qi Ming crossed a major realm and killed Li Sheng. That's right, that's right. Just now, he instantly killed more than ten upper world immortal kings. It's too terrifying. We have to calm down. Don't be impulsive. Otherwise, we'll probably die in Qi Ming's hands. Qi Ming and Li Sheng fought intensely. Qi Ming is more or less injured and has consumed a lot of dharmic powers. Now is the time for us to snatch the opportunity. If we can join forces, perhaps we can fight. At this moment, more and more upper world immortal kings gathered. Because there were more and more of them, they began to suppress the fear in their hearts and wanted to join forces to deal with Qi Ming. Fuse, devour. With a thought, Qi Ming formed hand seals. He circulated the great Dao divine power, Dao integration to the limit. With the power of the heaven and earth great Dao added to his body, a total of 129,600 great Dao immortal apertures were fused again. The primordial purple light flickered like a screen of light. It quickly surged out of the black vortex above Qi Ming's head and enveloped the Dao seed in front of him. It takes too long for the Dao seed to transform into a Dao fruit. I don't want to wait for so long. I'll directly devour and absorb the Dao seed. Qi Ming said in a low voice. Heaven and Earth Great Dao Furnace Qi Ming formed hand seals again. Countless butterfly-like runes flew out of his body and quickly surged towards the black vortex above his head. The appearance of the black vortex changed, turning into a huge black furnace. However, it emitted waves of primordial purple light and began to refine the Dao seed. Oh no! Qi Ming wants to refine it. Kill him! Take it away! The upper world immortal kings roared. You're courting death. Qi Ming's killing intense sword. He was not afraid at all when facing the upper world immortal kings. With a thought, the space-time gate and the snake ring of fate flew out. Supremacies of the Great Dao. At the same time, Great Dao supremacies flew out of the black furnace and attacked the surrounding upper world immortal kings. An even more intense battle erupted. Master. Immediately after, Qi Ming's twelve rare immortal pets, the world's freedom Buddha and the others, led the immortal realm servant army to block the enemies and protect him. Junior brother. Ching Fi Yun tore through the air. He took out the heavenly creation mirror and led the first demon sex army to similarly block the upper world immortal king and immortal army of the nine provinces immortal dynasty. Don't worry. Ching Fi Yun shouted. I'll block the upper world immortal kings of the nine provinces immortal dynasty for you. Ha ha ha. Senior brother Qi Ming is mighty. Too powerful. Senior brother Qi Ming, let's help you block the army of the Dao sect alliance. Kill. There were also the branch masters of the primordial demon sect. They shouted one after another and slaughtered their way into the battlefield. The battle erupted again. The entire primordial demon territory and more than half of the primordial province fell into the flames of war. Countless immortals, golden immortals, and immortal kings were fighting. Heaven and earth shook, and the sun and moon dimmed. 
more and more immortals died and became corpses. The battle became even more miserable. Get lost. Suddenly, the nine provinces immortal emperor took a step forward and roared angrily. He raised his hand and slapped down, turning into a palm that covered the sky. It was even supported by the power of the upper world's heavenly Dao. This palm attacked Ching Fi Yun. You. Ching Fi Yun felt an extremely terrifying pressure and quickly took out the heavenly creation mirror. He barely blocked the nine provinces immortal emperor's palm, but he was also sent flying. Phew! Ching Fi Yun screamed and spat out blood as he flew extremely far away. Nine provinces immortal emperor. How can you? Ching Fi Yun raised his head with a shocked expression. He looked at the nine provinces immortal emperor whose aura had increased greatly and was extremely shocked in his heart. He sensed the aura of the upper world heavenly Dao surging from the nine provinces immortal emperor. Dao cultivator. Ching Fi Yun shouted in surprise, you're a Dao cultivator. Humph the nine provinces immortal emperor snorted coldly. His gaze swept past Ching Fi Yun and looked at Qi Ming. His expression was gloomy as his figure flashed and disappeared from the spot. He attacked Qi Ming, this damn Qi Ming. He actually dares to directly devour and absorb the Dao validation Dao fruit before it's nurtured. You deserve to die. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor wanted to stop Qi Ming from devouring Li Sheng's Dao seed. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor was the second Dao cultivator of the Nine Provinces domain. Along long time ago, with the help of the six Dao Heavenly Venerate, he had already walked the path of cultivating the Heavenly Dao. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor was the personal disciple of the six Dao Heavenly Venerate. In the future, he would definitely break through the Immortal Realm and step into the Venerate Realm to become a Law Heavenly Venerate. After the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor became a Dao Cultivator, he hid very deeply. Coupled with his identity and status, in the entire Nine Provinces domain, besides the six Dao Heavenly Venerates, no one knew that the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor was a Dao Cultivator. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor had long been determined to obtain the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. With his status and strength, he was completely invincible. Back then, Li Sheng's identity as a Dao Cultivator had been exposed. Although the Nine Provinces Immortal Dynasty had launched a war against the Dao Sect Alliance, they had not truly killed everyone. Back then, Li Sheng thought that he had escaped. In fact, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor had known everything long ago. However, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor did not kill him. Instead, he let him grow under pressure. Now, Li Sheng had indeed grown and reached the late stage Immortal King Realm. He had condensed a Dao seed. In the eyes of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor, it was time to harvest. Unexpectedly, Qi Ming's appearance disrupted the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's plan again. He used his powerful strength to kill Li Sheng and extract the Dao seed. Originally, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor thought that Qi Ming would wait until the epic calamity ended, until the Dao seed matured and completely transformed into the Dao Validation Dao fruit. At that time, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor would truly appear and attack Qi Ming to snatch the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. Chapter 396, Refining the Heavenly Creation Mirror, Preparing to Break Through on the Spot Unfortunately, in the end, plans could not keep up with the changes. Qi Ming's actions had completely exceeded the expectations of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. He really did not expect that Qi Ming would devour and absorb the Dao seed before it was nurtured. Damn it! The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor roared, Stop! It was too late. Qi Ming had already swallowed the Dao seed into the heaven and earth great Dao furnace. He circulated his cultivation technique and began to refine and fuse with Li Sheng's Dao seed. I'll charge 10 billion high-grade immortal crystals. Qi Ming said, refine the Dao seed. Ding! The heavenly Dao seed is being refined and fused under the enhancement of 100 quadrillion times. A notification appeared. With the help of the AFK farming software, Qi Ming's speed at refining the Dao seed multiplied. 
he comprehended the various heavenly Deo truths contained in the Deo Seed and circulated the Chaos Great Deo Scripture to perfect his comprehension of the Heaven and Earth Great Deo. Unknowingly, after Qi Ming absorbed and fused with the Deo Seed, his comprehension of the Heaven and Earth Great Deo gradually deepened. Qi Ming's aura also slowly strengthened. Scoundrel! The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor was beyond furious. He charged in front of Qi Ming and directly took out the Heavenly Deo treasure, six paths of reincarnation to suppress him. The heavens and the earth were filled with the power of the six paths that crushed towards Qi Ming, and it created an extremely terrifying might that was sufficient to easily kill an upper world immortal king. Space Time Gate, Snake Ring of Fate Qi Ming did not hesitate and directly faced the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. With a wave of his hands, two heavenly Deo treasures tore through the air and attacked the Six Paths of Reincarnation. The Six Paths of Reincarnation was a top-grade postnatal heavenly Deo treasure, while Qi Ming's space-time gate was only a medium-grade postnatal heavenly Deo treasure. The Snake Ring of Fate was only a high-grade postnatal heavenly Deo treasure. Even if Qi Ming completely activated the power of the space-time gate and the snake ring of fate, he could not resist the six paths of reincarnation and was already suppressed. An explosion sounded. The space-time gate was the first to be sent flying by the six paths of reincarnation. The power of space and time dissipated, and it flew extremely far away. The snake ring of fate was also suppressed. At this moment, Qi Ming could finally see the appearance of the six paths of reincarnation clearly. It was formed by six huge disks. Every huge disk was different in color and surrounded each other, forming a close connection. Overall, it was a larger disk. On every disk were profound runes that formed words, Heavenly God Deo, Human Deo, Azura Deo, Hell Deo, Hungry Ghost Deo, and Beast Deo. They determined the six paths of reincarnation. The heaven-devouring python that was activated by the snake ring of fate collapsed. The silver light dissipated, and the power of fate was defeated. The snake ring of fate also flew out. Qi Ming was forced back by the aftershock, and blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. Cough cough. Qi Ming wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. The heaven and earth great Deo furnace above his head was still refining the Deo seed. Every moment passed, Qi Ming had a new realization. Unknowingly, the connection between the 129,600 great Deo immortal apertures became closer and closer. Between them, various energies resonated and fused. Qi Ming had originally absorbed 19 heaven and earth great Deo fragments and could fuse with the great Deo immortal aperture to reach the level of a half-step immortal king. Now, Qi Ming began to absorb and refine the Deo seed to increase his comprehension of the heaven and earth great Deo. This caused him to begin to advance to the immortal king realm. He was slowly condensing the heart of the great Deo immortal king. Qi Ming looked at the immortal emperor in front of him. His aura was indeed extraordinary. The six paths of reincarnation surrounded him, and the power of the upper world's heavenly Deo surged. His might was like a rainbow, and he was even stronger than Li Sheng. Junior brother. Ching Fi Yun roared at this moment. He waved his hands and spat out another mouthful of blood, severing the connection with the heavenly Deo treasure, heavenly creation mirror, catch it. Dream on. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's gaze was cold. He took a step forward. Above his head, the heavenly Deo immortal king's heart directly appeared. It was dazzling purple gold in color. Suppress. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor waved his hand and used a supreme divine power technique, divine firmament supreme world destruction scripture. When this supreme divine power technique was used, with the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor as the center, a dazzling purple gold light blossomed and constantly spread, turning into a purple gold tribulation cloud that covered the sky. Countless purple gold divine firmament supreme world destruction lightning struck the heavenly creation mirror. All the true lightning gathered midway and transformed into a purple gold palm that grabbed at the heavenly creation mirror. Heaven and Earth Limitless Life Scripture Golden Buddha light shone as countless golden Buddhist texts surged out. 
They were like a vast golden galaxy that swept over and blocked the purple-gold lightning palm. Qi Ming used extreme speed and took a step forward. He arrived in front of the heavenly creation mirror and caught it. He then quickly grasped it. Cough cough. Qing Fi Yun coughed up blood again. He looked at Qi Ming and the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor and took a deep breath. His gaze was extremely complicated, Junior brother, I can only help you this much. I really didn't expect the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor to be a Dao cultivator. He hid it too deeply. He deceived the entire Nine Provinces' domain. Boom! At this moment, an explosion sounded. The golden river of stars gathered by the golden Buddhist scripture blocked the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's divine firmament supreme world destruction scripture. The two sides exploded and were obliterated. However, the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor used the six paths of reincarnation again. The six huge disks constantly surrounded him and emitted an incomparably dense power of the six paths. Light fog spread out and descended from the sky to quickly suppress Qi Ming. Heavenly Creation Mirror Qi Ming could only take out the Heavenly Creation Mirror. It swelled up with the wind and the huge mirror blocked the six paths of reincarnation of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. The two sides collided. Boom! There was a loud sound. The Heavenly Creation Mirror was sent flying. Qi Ming had just obtained the Heavenly Creation Mirror and had yet to refine it. He could only unleash a portion of its power so he naturally could not block the six paths of reincarnation summoned by the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. He coughed up blood again, but he still blocked the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's attack with difficulty. While quickly retreating, he resolved the power that had rushed into his body. No matter what, the Heavenly Creation Mirror was a top-grade postnatal Heavenly Deo treasure. It was on the same level as the six paths of reincarnation. Although Qi Ming had just refined it, its power was not ordinary. The six paths of reincarnation returned to the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's side again. They were like six huge disks that constantly surrounded him. Above the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor, the purple-gold heavenly Dao immortal king's heart was like an incomparably dazzling and dazzling sun that shone in all directions. It contained powerful might and supported the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor. In the surroundings, there were also purple-gold runes that surrounded the heart of the heavenly Dao Immortal King. Very strong. He was indeed very strong. It was filled with an extremely terrifying pressure. The Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's strength had indeed surpassed Li Sheng's. This was because he had grasped three supreme divine power techniques and also had a top-grade postnatal heavenly Dao treasure. He was also much more familiar with the use of the upper world's heavenly Dao power than Li Sheng. Qi Ming The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor clenched his right hand into a fist, and his eyes were filled with killing intent, you're really bold. You actually dare to absorb the Dao seed before it transforms into a Dao validation Dao fruit. You're courting death. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor took a deep breath. After his anger subsided, he had already slowly calmed down, since you absorbed Li Sheng's Dao seed, I can only personally kill you and strip it from your body before refining you into the Dao seed. In the surroundings, the battle between the various factions continued. I didn't expect that three Dao cultivators would actually appear in this epic calamity. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor is actually a Dao cultivator. Moreover, he's hidden so deeply. He's probably the first Dao cultivator in this era. Did you notice? Qi Ming's cultivation level seems to be only at the Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. What? Qi Ming, who's only at the late stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm, killed Li Cheng, who's already at the late stage Immortal King Realm. They're clearly both Dao cultivators. Qi Ming, he. On the various battlefields, the upper world immortal kings of the various factions gradually understood the situation. Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor Qi Hongling took out several heavenly Dao treasures and blocked the siege of the world's freedom Buddha and Fang Ryu. He looked at Qi Ming and said, he's actually a Dao cultivator. Qi Ming The Dao sect master's gaze was cold, 
you actually killed Li Sheng. Li Sheng was the Dao cultivator of the Dao sect. Now, Qi Ming had killed Li Sheng. The sect master of the Dao sect was naturally furious. It was very normal to hate him. The sect master of the Dao sect took a deep breath and calmed down. He analyzed carefully, the nine provinces immortal emperor hid too deeply. No one knew that he was a Dao cultivator. In this epic calamity, the nine provinces immortal emperor will probably become the final winner because Qi Ming's cultivation is at the late stage zenith heaven golden immortal realm. Even if Qi Ming can kill Li Sheng, he's probably not the nine provinces immortal emperor's match. So, who will be the final winner? At this moment, on the various battlefields, countless living beings, immortals, golden immortals, and immortal kings looked over. Light fog spread around Qi Ming's body. Primordial purple light flashed as a large number of immortal crystals were charged. He was using the AFK farming software to help him refine the heavenly creation mirror. In a short period of time, Qi Ming quickly grasped the true power of the heavenly creation mirror. He was still constantly fusing and absorbing Li Sheng's Dao seed. In the heaven and earth great Dao furnace above his head, the great Dao immortal aperture fused, and the power of the heaven and earth great Dao fused into it. The heart of the great Dao immortal king was already nurturing. Qi Ming was about to break through to the early stage immortal king realm. Good move. The nine provinces immortal emperor saw through it at a glance and was a little shocked, Qi Ming. You're actually able to successfully refine the heavenly creation mirror in such a short period of time. It seems that you've already grasped the true power of the heavenly creation mirror. Chapter 397, Intense Battle The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor vaguely felt a strong pressure. The aura emitted from Qi Ming's body became stronger and stronger, causing his expression to become even more solemn. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor continued, you're indeed quite capable. No wonder you were able to kill Dao cultivator Li Cheng. If not for me, you might really have soared into the sky in this epic calamity and crossed the immortal realm to step into the venerate realm to become a law heavenly venerate. Unfortunately the nine provinces immortal emperor shook his head, you actually swallowed the Dao seed before it completely transformed into the Dao validation Dao fruit. I can only kill you and strip it away now. Now. Only one can live between you and me. You personally severed the only way out for yourself. Is that so? Qi Ming did not care. He smiled indifferently and waved his hands. The heavenly creation mirror flew out and flickered with light. It was covered in a faint primordial purple light and enhanced the power of the heaven and earth great Dao. The artifact spirit of the heavenly creation mirror appeared. It was the appearance of a middle-aged man. He bowed to Qi Ming and had already completely recognized him as his master. The artifact spirit of the heavenly creation mirror greeted, Master. Qi Ming nodded slightly. Then, he looked over at the nine provinces immortal emperor and said in a low voice, The show has only just begun. Creation divine light. Qi Ming shouted and controlled the heavenly creation mirror. There was a dazzling light that rushed out of the mirror like a huge pillar of light and attacked the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor. This. Ching Fei Yun's expression was a little shocked, Junior Junior brother, he he actually completely refined the heavenly creation mirror in such a short period of time. This Qi Ming is quite capable. How will the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor face him? Qi Hongling and the others looked over and discussed. You're still struggling. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor snorted coldly. He raised his right hand and summoned the Six Paths of Reincarnation. The huge disc spun and flew as a huge pitch black pillar of light rushed out. An explosion sounded. The creation divine light and the Six Paths of Reincarnation immortal light collided. The two sides fought intensely. This was the battle between the two top-grade postnatal heavenly Dao treasures as well as Qi Ming and the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. Over the years, the Heavenly Creation Mirror and the Six Paths of Reincarnation had fought many times. The power of the two sides was actually evenly matched. Qi Ming's Dharmic powers were still a little inferior to the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. In this battle, 
the creation divine light was gradually suppressed. Boom! There was a loud sound. The creation divine light shattered, and the heavenly creation mirror was sent flying. The aftershock of the six paths of reincarnation immortal light landed on Qi Ming's body and shattered his defense. Qi Ming coughed out blood and was sent flying. Come back! Qi Ming waved his right hand, and the heavenly creation mirror quickly flew back into his hand. However, the divine light on the heavenly creation mirror dimmed a little. In this battle, the heavenly creation mirror was injured. The space-time gate and the snake ring of fate were damaged many times in the battles. This is troublesome. Qing Fi Yun's expression was solemn, the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor is too strong. He's a Dao cultivator and is even a late-stage upper-world immortal king. He has grasped many divine powers and has abundant combat experience. Although Junior Brother is also a Dao cultivator, his cultivation level is only at the late-stage Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. He's an entire realm lower than the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor. He's not his match at all. As expected. The sect master of the Dao sect said, Although Qi Ming is very strong and even completed the refinement of the heavenly creation mirror in a short period of time, he's still not the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's match. According to the current situation, it's only a matter of time before Qi Ming dies. Qi Hongling said. Senior Brother Qi Ming. The branch masters of the primordial demon territory also had extremely solemn expressions. If Qi Ming was defeated and the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor obtained the Dao Validation Dao Fruit, the entire Primordial Demon Sect would probably be destroyed by the Nine Provinces Immortal Dynasty, and they would not be able to escape. Senior Brother Qi Branch Master Qi Ming You have to win. The Branch Masters of the Primordial Demon Territory and the Grand Elders shouted. Ha ha ha! The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor roared with laughter. The power on his body became stronger and stronger, win? Ridiculous. Too laughable. How can Qi Ming defeat me? Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron. Boom. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor shouted. With a thought, he took out his intrinsic immortal treasure. It was a bronze three-legged cauldron. It was carved with the scene of heaven and earth, and it contained an incomparably powerful might. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's intrinsic immortal treasure had long been refined to the level of a top-grade upper-world immortal king treasure. Coupled with the fact that he was a Dao cultivator, the power of the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron was even stronger than ordinary heavenly Dao treasures. This. Another heavenly Dao treasure. No. No. This is the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's intrinsic immortal treasure. Although it's not a heavenly Dao treasure, its power is no less than an ordinary heavenly Dao treasure. The Upper World Immortal Kings said. The next moment, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor waved his right hand, and five different heavenly Dao treasures appeared around him. They emitted an extremely powerful might that suppressed the heavens and the earth. Heaven and Earth Five Elements Jade Seal it was a jade seal of five colors that represented the power of the five elements in the world. It flowed endlessly and emitted an extremely powerful aura. This was a high-grade postnatal heavenly Dao treasure. Time True Sword Accompanied by a sword cry, the aura of time surged, and it was extremely dense. It was an ancient and unadorned three-finger sword. The body of the sword was carved with strange patterns, as if it had crossed the endless river of time. Similarly, this was a high-grade postnatal heavenly Dao treasure. Heavenly King Divine Hammer Myriad Armor Treasure Robe 36 Gates The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor took out five different heavenly Dao treasures again. They contained different characteristics like defense, attack, and support. Every heavenly Dao treasure had reached the high-grade level and was not inferior to the snake ring of fate in Qi Ming's hand. Five Five Heavenly Dao Treasures Gasp! This is too terrifying. As expected of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. He actually has so many Heavenly Dao Treasures. Qi Ming is really dead meat this time. The Upper World Immortal Kings exclaimed. 
the nine provinces immortal emperor stimulated the power of all the heavenly Deo treasures. Such an extremely terrifying might shattered the space in all directions and tore apart the sky, prepare to die. Boom! In an instant, the heaven and earth five elements jade seal, the true time sword, the heavenly king divine hammer, the myriad armor treasure robe, the thirty-six gates, and the six paths of reincarnation, a total of six heavenly Deo treasures, were controlled by the nine provinces immortal emperor and released their respective powers, turning into six pillars of light that poured all their power into the nine provinces supreme cauldron. At this moment, the might of the nine provinces immortal emperor's intrinsic immortal treasure, the nine provinces supreme cauldron, had reached a terrifying limit, and it was even sufficient to threaten existences at the venerate realm. Suppress. The nine provinces immortal emperor raised his hands and controlled the nine provinces supreme cauldron to lock onto Qi Ming. A dazzling purple gold pillar of light descended and attacked him. Wherever the pillar of light passed, everything collapsed. It was impossible to resist at all. Space was destroyed, and the barriers of the upper world were almost shattered. It was too powerful. Junior brother. Ching Fi Yun's eyes widened as he felt the fear of death. He shouted, Be careful! Dodge! Senior Brother Qi Ming! Branch Master Qi Ming! Be careful! The Branch Masters of the Primordial Demon Sect shouted. Qi Ming is doomed! This strike from the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor is too powerful! Qi Ming can't block it! It's impossible for him to block it! Qi Hong Ling! the sect master of the Dao sect, and the experts of the various factions exclaimed. Master! The world's freedom Buddha, Fang Aryu, and the others wanted to help, but it was too late. Even if they rushed over, they could not block the attack of the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor. Heavenly Creation Mirror, Snake Ring of Fate, Space-Time Gate, Heaven and Earth Universe Painting. At this moment, Qi Ming faced the enemy with all his might. He circulated his cultivation technique to the limit. With a wave of his right hand, the heaven and earth universe painting in red dust's hand crossed the space and quickly flew back into Qi Ming's hand. Go! First, the heaven and earth universe painting was the first to be used. The power of the universe erupted and was wrapped in a layer of primordial purple light. In Qi Ming's hand, a power that almost exceeded the limit erupted. Boom! Facing the full-powered strike of the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor who had fused his vast dharmic powers, the heavenly Deo power of the upper world, and six heavenly Deo treasures, the heaven and earth universe painting was still not enough. After a short battle, the heaven and earth universe painting was defeated. The universe power dissipated, and the entire array formation was actually pierced by the purple gold pillar of light, causing it to be heavily damaged. The artifact spirit universe, let out a miserable cry and was almost about to collapse. The incomplete heaven and earth universe painting fell from the sky. The next moment, the space-time gate was also heavily damaged. The artifact spirit origin also let out a miserable cry. Its figure was much more illusory. Countless cracks appeared on the huge space-time gate, and the shattered space-time gate fell. Roar! Boom! There was a loud sound. The fate python formed by the snake ring of fate was also defeated. The incomparably huge snake body was pierced by the purple gold pillar of light and exploded. The snake ring of fate was also heavily damaged and was covered in fine cracks. Finally, only the heavenly creation mirror was left. Under Qi Ming's control, it turned into an incomparably huge mirror. However, it was more like a shield that blocked in front of him. After the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's full-powered strike was blocked by several heavenly Deo treasures, the power did weaken a little, but not much. Boom! Another earth-shattering explosion sounded. The purple-gold pillar of light struck the heavenly creation mirror Qi Ming took out head-on, producing an extremely terrifying explosion. Waves of energy light spread out like water ripples. Qi Ming blocked with all his might but the power of the purple gold pillar of light still seeped through the defense of the heavenly creation mirror and injured Qi Ming. Blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. 
Chapter 398, The Cracked Heaven and Earth Great Dao Furnace, Condensing the Heart of the Great Dao Immortal King. Not long after, the light condensed by the heavenly creation mirror gradually cracked and dissipated. It was indeed unable to withstand the full-powered strike of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. The power of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor exceeded ordinary imagination. With Qi Ming's current situation, even if he used the Great Dao Finger, he might not be able to completely defeat the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. Moreover, Qi Ming had now fused 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures and transformed them into the Heaven and Earth Great Dao Furnace. He was refining and fusing the Dao Seed to condense the heart of the Great Dao Immortal King. Now, under the pressure of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor, he was about to succeed. This. Qi Ming can't hold on any more. The Heavenly Creation Mirror can't block for long. Qi Ming is about to lose. Look, quickly. The furnace-like existence above Qi Ming's head is constantly cracking. It seems to be unable to withstand the power of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor. No. No. I remember now. Back then, Qi Ming used his strongest technique to kill Li Sheng. That strike transformed into a mysterious finger and directly killed Li Sheng on the spot. He even tore the entire primordial province into two. Therefore, Qi Ming should still have his strongest technique. But why didn't he use it? If he uses it, there might be hope. In the surroundings, around the battlefield, Many upper world immortal kings who had seen Qi Ming use the Great Dao Finger were filled with questions. They could not understand why Qi Ming did not use it. Die. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor roared again. His hands pressed down and increased the output of his dharmic powers. The purple gold pillar of light became more and more dazzling, and its power increased further. Boom. The light of the heavenly creation mirror quickly dimmed. Qi Ming spat out another mouthful of blood. At the same time, above Qi Ming, the heaven and earth great Dao furnace quickly cracked. Cracks appeared like porcelain that had fallen to the ground. Chaos Great Dao Scripture Qi Ming roared at the sky and roared angrily. He circulated his cultivation technique to the limit and the power of the heaven and earth great Dao protected his body. The next moment, with a loud sound, the heaven and earth great Dao furnace above Qi Ming's head completely exploded, shattering into pieces like blooming lotuses. Every piece was like a lotus flower petal. That is. It exploded, Qi Ming's immortal aperture. It exploded. It's over. Qi Ming is completely finished. His immortal aperture has shattered, he will definitely die. As expected. In the end the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor was stronger. His strength was even stronger. Qi Ming lost. The upper world immortal kings said repeatedly. Junior brother. Ching Fi Yun roared. No. The immortal kings of the primordial demon sect also roared. Ha 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 ha. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor was first stunned before he reacted. He saw Qi Ming's immortal aperture shatter and laughed at the sky. His tone was filled with joy. After fighting for so long, he was finally about to win. He was too excited, Qi Ming, oh Qi Ming. You still lost in the end. You died in my hands. I am the final winner. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. In the center of the shattered heaven and earth great Dao furnace, what appeared was not death or destruction. Instead, it was a new life beginning in the great Dao of heaven and earth. Invisible fluctuations spread. A dazzling primordial purple light blossomed. It was like a dense aurora as it slowly spread, shining in all directions. The Dao sound of the heaven and earth great Dao sounded. In the primordial purple light, a mysterious great Dao immortal king's heart slowly condensed. It emitted a primordial purple light. Qi Ming's comprehension of the heaven and earth great Dao had reached the initial phase, microsense small success limit. He was only a step away from the microsense large success realm. That is. Immortal King's heart. Gasp. Qi Ming broke through. 
he broke through. Oh goodness! Chi Ming actually broke through at the last minute. He actually broke through at the last minute and condensed the immortal king's heart. This this! Too shocking, too shocking! He's actually able to do such an unbelievable thing. He's actually able to successfully condense the immortal king's heart during the battle. He's simply simply a monster. The immortal king's heart has already been successfully condensed. Qi Ming will definitely break through to the early stage immortal king realm. The situation actually changed to this. All the living beings, immortals, golden immortals, and immortal kings present were stunned. Their eyes widened, and they were incomparably shocked. It was too unbelievable. You actually. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor could not help but widen his mouth with a shocked expression. He looked at the Immortal King's heart condensed above Qi Ming's head and felt a terrifying pressure. He broke through at the last minute. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor could not help but exclaim. That's right. Qi Ming wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. With a thought, he communicated with the heart of the great Dao Immortal King. A dense primordial purple light descended and fused into Qi Ming's body. His aura soared and his dharmic powers surged. There was a loud sound. Qi Ming activated the power of the heavenly creation mirror again. With the enhancement of the great Dao Immortal King's heart, the power of the heavenly creation mirror naturally improved. The purple gold pillar of light dissipated, and the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor could not help but take a few steps back. The power and aura of the six heavenly Dao treasures were also greatly suppressed. So what? The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor recovered from his shock and roared angrily, so what if you condensed the heavenly Dao Immortal King's heart? You've only just condensed it. If you want to break through to the early stage Immortal King realm, you need a large amount of heaven and earth energy and time to refine dharmic powers. You haven't really stepped into the early stage Immortal King realm. Moreover. So what if you've stepped into the early stage Immortal King realm? My cultivation level is at the late stage Immortal King realm, and my cultivation level is still two levels higher than yours. I won't lose. I won't lose. I will definitely win. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor roared. You're wrong. Qi Ming said, Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor, even if I don't truly step into the early stage Immortal King realm, as long as I condense the Immortal King's heart, I can defeat you and even kill you. Impossible. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor roared, You just condensed the heart of an Immortal King and you want to defeat me? You want to kill me? It's impossible. Impossible. You're dreaming. Attack. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor erupted again. He circulated his cultivation method and divine powers. Monstrous dharmic powers were injected into the six heavenly Dao treasures, stimulating the power of the heaven and earth treasures further. The power of the heavenly Dao treasure transformed into pillars of light that surged into the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron. This was the intrinsic immortal treasure of the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor, and it was the most able to display his power. After combining the power of the six heavenly Dao treasures, the power of the Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron became stronger and more terrifying, becoming a little stronger than before. This power was enough to threaten ordinary law heavenly venerates. Suppress. This time, the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor grasped the Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron. The entire cauldron swelled up with the wind and became 100,000 meters tall. It covered the sky and locked onto Qi Ming as it suppressed him. In the surrounding area, space shattered and constantly cracked. Countless cracks and gaps appeared, causing them to collapse. The heavens and the earth shook violently. Great Dao Finger This time, Qi Ming did not use the heavenly creation mirror. Instead, he circulated the Chaos Great Dao scripture and mobilized the power of the Great Dao Immortal King's heart. He sensed the omnipresent Great Dao of Heaven and Earth in the myriad worlds and received the power of the Great Dao of Heaven and Earth. Countless primordial purple lights surged out of the Great Dao Immortal King's heart and surged into Qi Ming's body, fusing with his dharmic powers. Finally, Qi Ming raised his head. 
his eyes had already transformed into a pair of primordial purple eyes. A vertical mark appeared between his brows. This was the mark of the Great Dao. Fall. Qi Ming raised his right hand and gathered dharmic powers, energy and the power of the heaven and earth Great Dao. They combined and slowly pointed out. This was the Great Dao finger. The power of this finger now was stronger than the Great Dao finger that Qi Ming had forcefully fused with 129,600 Great Dao immortal apertures and all his divine powers and strength. After Qi Ming pointed out this point. In the void. In the sky. Suddenly, primordial purple clouds gathered. They were incomparably vast and enveloped the surroundings. A huge finger pushed aside the primordial purple clouds like a true finger and descended from the sky. It locked onto the nine provinces immortal emperor and directly descended to suppress him. This this is. It appeared, it appeared. A finger. This is a finger. Back then. Qi Ming used this finger to kill Li Sheng on the spot. The aftershock of this finger even tore the entire primordial province into two. It appeared again. I feel that it's even stronger than the previous finger. In the surroundings, the upper world immortal kings widened their eyes. The pressure and Dao runes emitted by the great Dao finger even made them not dare to look straight. It was too powerful. I can't lose. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor raised his head, his battle intent surging. He had an undefeated faith and an invincible attitude. He roared at the sky, and his might became even stronger. The Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron's aura rose again and suppressed over. Clang! This was a crisp sound. Qi Ming's Great Dao Finger struck the Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor head on, producing a sound of striking iron. It had a terrifying penetrating force as if it sounded in the ears of all living beings, and their eardrums seemed to be pierced. The power of the heaven and earth Great Dao contained in the Great Dao finger spread and quickly spread, suppressing the Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron. The purple gold light on it quickly dimmed. Chapter 399, Annihilation Crack! Crack! The light emitted by the Nine Provinces' Supreme Cauldron became even dimmer. It was unable to withstand the power of Qi Ming's finger. The power of the Heaven and Earth Great Dao defeated the power of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. Not only that, fine cracks appeared on the Nine Provinces' Supreme Cauldron. Although the Nine Provinces' Supreme Cauldron was the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's intrinsic immortal treasure, its grade was only a top-grade upper-world immortal king treasure and was not very high. Now, the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor poured the power of the six heavenly Dao treasures into the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron. This was too powerful. It had already reached the limit that the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron could withstand. When Qi Ming's great Dao finger collided with the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron, because he was too powerful, he suppressed the power of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor, causing fine cracks to appear on the Nine Provinces Supreme Cauldron, which had already reached its limit. This this. Is the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor about to lose? So the situation is about to be reversed by Qi Ming. What powerful strength! Too powerful! Is this a Dao cultivator? Although he's a late-stage immortal king like us, his combat strength far exceeds ours. They're not on the same level at all. He's really too strong. The upper world immortal kings exclaimed. No. An extremely terrified expression finally appeared on the nine provinces immortal emperor's face, I can't lose. I can't lose. Kill. The nine provinces immortal emperor roared angrily and mobilized all his energy. His dharmic power surged like an endless river that constantly surged over to block Qi Ming's great Dao finger. You're overestimating yourself. Boom. Qi Ming's gaze was cold. The great Dao immortal king's heart above his head landed with the primordial purple light again, amplifying Qi Ming's strength and completely suppressing the nine provinces supreme cauldron. Destroy. Qi Ming shouted. The purple-gold light emitted by the Nine Provinces' Supreme Cauldron dissipated. 
the purple-gold pillar of light exploded and collapsed into light spots that filled the sky. Bang! The Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron was covered in cracks as it flew out. It lost all its energy and was unable to withstand Qi Ming's great Dao finger. It was sent flying. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor spat out blood and retreated repeatedly. The Dharmic power's fluctuation on his body was unstable one after another. He had exhausted too much strength and his face was as pale as paper. The aftershock of Qi Ming's finger defeated the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor's attack. After sending the Nine Provinces' supreme cauldron flying, it directly landed on him. At this critical moment. Block it for me. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor waved his hands. The heaven and earth five elements jade seal, the true time sword, the heavenly king divine hammer, the myriad armor treasure robe, the thirty-six gates, and the six paths of reincarnation, the six heavenly deo treasures he grasped, quickly tore through the air and blocked in front of him. They emitted waves of light and were indeed quite dazzling. After the aftershock of the great Dao finger landed, it defeated the power of the six heavenly Dao treasures in succession with a destructive force, sending them flying. Blood splattered. The last remaining power of the great Dao finger pierced through the nine provinces' immortal emperor's immortal body. It flew for an extremely dazzling distance before slowly dissipating. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor let out a miserable cry as he spat out a large amount of blood. He was heavily injured, and a huge transparent hole appeared in his chest. Qi Ming clasped his hands behind his back and looked down at the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor. He was already confident of victory, you've already lost. Gasp! Too strong, Qi Ming is simply too strong. Invincible! This is invincibility! Powerful. Extremely powerful. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor was heavily injured by Qi Ming. In the surroundings, many upper world immortal kings shouted again. I haven't lost. At the last moment, the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor fought with his life on the line. He roared at the sky and circulated his cultivation technique to the limit. The power of the upper world's heavenly Dao surged over and enveloped him. He slowly opened his hands. His entire body lit up and transformed into a purple-gold human-shaped light that entered the heart of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King. At this moment, he fused with the heart of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King and released all his strength. The six Heavenly Dao treasures and the nine provinces' supreme cauldron revolved around the heart. Attack! The Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's Heavenly Dao Immortal King Heart directly attacked Qi Ming with the Heavenly Dao treasures around him. Without any hesitation, he attacked with all his might. This strike of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor had already reached his limit. He wanted to use all his strength and methods to fight Qi Ming to the death. A desperate attack. Qi Ming's gaze was indifferent. Facing the desperate attack of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor, he was not afraid at all. Instead, he was absolutely confident, all right, as you wish. Great Dao Hand. Qi Ming shouted softly and raised his right hand. The Great Dao Immortal King's heart emitted a dazzling light again, and the primordial purple light fused into Qi Ming's body. Qi Ming's palm landed and locked onto the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. In the sky, an incomparably huge palm descended. It was lifelike and contained the power of the heaven and earth great Dao. It suppressed the surroundings and landed on the nine provinces' immortal emperor. All the living beings present could clearly see that the great Dao hand destroyed all the methods of the nine provinces' immortal emperor in a destructive manner. All the power of the six heavenly Dao treasures was obliterated, and they were sent flying, causing cracks to appear. Bang! The nine provinces' supreme cauldron completely exploded. The Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's miserable cry sounded from the heart of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King. Qi Ming's Great Dao Hand directly crushed the heart of the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor. In Qi Ming's Great Dao Hand, the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor's Heavenly Dao Immortal King heart was like a transparent glass ball that could not withstand a single blow. What what power is this? At this moment, the Nine Provinces' Immortal Emperor finally felt a deep sense of powerlessness. 
he felt how huge the difference between him and Qi Ming was. They were on completely different levels. An illusory figure flew out of the shattered heart of the heavenly Dao Immortal King. This was the shadow of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's consciousness that was slowly dissipating. What power? Qi Ming said indifferently, the power to kill you. He exerted strength with his right hand, and the great Dao hand completely crushed the heart of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor and obliterated his Immortal King consciousness. I'm indignant. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's consciousness completely dissipated. At the last moment, he let out an extremely indignant roar and dissipated in the world. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor had completely died. At the same time, the Dao Seed of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor was also born from the shattered heart of the Heavenly Dao Immortal King. It was nurtured and shone with a purple-gold light as it absorbed the epic tribulation Qi and the various energies in the world. It was slowly nurturing. This time, although the surrounding immortal kings and many living beings of the upper world were filled with incomparable desire for the Dao Seed, they no longer dared to snatch it. They were afraid of Qi Ming's power. He won. Junior brother Qi won. Qing Fi Yun roared with laughter, ha ha ha. Senior brother Qi Ming won. That's great. The Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor has been defeated. Ha ha ha. Senior brother Qi Ming is invincible. The branch masters of the primordial demon sect shouted excitedly. Kill. Fellow disciples, it's time for us to counterattack. Attack. Attack. Kill these enemies. Kill. 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 The next moment, the battle erupted again and became more and more intense. After Qi Ming killed the Nine Provinces' immortal emperor, the morale of the primordial demon sex army soared as they counterattacked the three great factions. This this. Oh God. The Nine Provinces' immortal emperor actually died. Qi Ming has actually become the final winner. Retreat. Go. Retreat. In the Nine Provinces' immortal dynasty, the Myriad Race Alliance, the Dao Sect Alliance, the various large factions, and many experts wanted to leave the battlefield, but they were chased by the primordial demon sex army. The epic calamity had not ended, so the killing would naturally not stop. At this moment, Qi Ming sat cross-legged in the sky. The Dao seed of the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor floated in front of him. It absorbed various energy and gradually transformed and nurtured into the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. It was only a matter of time before the Nine Provinces Immortal Emperor's Dao Seed transformed into the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. I should completely break through. Qi Ming waved his right hand and opened his inventory. He took out a large number of immortal crystals. These top-grade immortal crystals were like a vast dragon that surrounded Qi Ming. Absorb. Qi Ming circulated his cultivation method and absorbed these immortal crystals to refine them into his dharmic powers. The great Dao Immortal King's heart also fused into Qi Ming's body. Time passed. Qi Ming was gradually transforming. The power of the heaven and earth great Dao transformed his entire body, causing his dharmic powers, body, soul, true spirit, and consciousness to undergo a huge transformation. Due to this breakthrough and transformation, Qi Ming entered seclusion for a thousand years. He opened his eyes and sensed the change in his body. His cultivation level had already completely reached the early stage Immortal King realm. The Dao seed in front of him was about to transform into the Dao Validation Dao Fruit. At the same time, Qi Ming sensed that much of the epic tribulation Qi had dissipated in the Nine Provinces domain. The karma barrier that filled the world was almost invisible. This meant that the epic calamity was about to end. Qi Ming raised his hand and dharmic powers surged out. Purple light flickered and enveloped the transformed Dao Seed. He carefully sensed that the Dao Seed's transformation was still missing the last step. It needed enough heavenly Dao merit. Qi Ming pondered for a moment and used his divine power to deduce for a moment. He obtained the answer, after chaos we still need to restore the order of the Nine Provinces' domain. Chapter 400, Dao Validation Dao Fruit, Microsense Large Success 
After the epic calamity began, in the entire nine provinces, there were various wars between the various large factions. There were even ferocious beasts that abused the commoners and suffered countless casualties. In the primordial demon territory battlefield, an immortal battle that had lasted for more than a thousand years had erupted. Upper world immortal kings had died, golden immortals, grand unity mystic immortals, mystic immortals, perfected immortals, and immortals were countless. The various factions suffered heavy losses, with less than 10% of their strength remaining. Many of the old fogies who had lived for a long time and the upper world immortal kings who had returned from the other realms had died, but most of them had died at Qi Ming's hands. Under such circumstances, with the destruction of the Nine Provinces' immortal dynasty, the various top factions collapsed, and the entire Nine Provinces' domain fell into chaos. They needed to restore order. For example, after the chaotic battle and tribulation, the six Deo Heavenly Venerate established the Nine Provinces' immortal dynasty and restructured the order of the Nine Provinces. Now, if he wanted to completely transform the Deo Validation Deo Fruit, Qi Ming needed to establish a new order and complete the unification of the entire Nine Provinces' domain. The primordial province was torn into two by Qi Ming, turning into two smaller provinces. It even caused the environment of the Nine Provinces' domain to change greatly. Ding! Congratulations, host! Your cultivation level has already successfully broken through to the early stage Immortal King Realm. You have already touched the limit of the Immortal Realm. A notification appeared. Qi Ming nodded slightly and sensed carefully. He could already master the initial power of the Heaven and Earth Great Dao. Ding! Congratulations, host. You have already transformed into the Chaos Great Dao body, false, dot. Another notification appeared. Chaos Great Dao body. Qi Ming felt his body again and clearly felt that every inch of his muscles, skin, and cells contained traces of the power of the Great Dao. If he mobilized all of them, an incomparably terrifying power would erupt. I'm indeed very strong. Qi Ming sighed, this is only the false chaos great Dao body and it's already so powerful. How strong will the real thing be? Unbelievable. Ding. Because the host's cultivation level has increased to the early stage immortal king realm, the highest amplification state of AFK farming cultivation has increased from 100 quadrillion times to a quintillion times. Ding. Because the host's cultivation level has increased to the early stage Immortal King Realm. The 129,600 Great Dao Immortal Apertures have fused into one and condensed into the heart of the Great Dao Immortal King. The Great Dao of Heaven and Earth has further transformed the host's immortal body, causing the host's dharmic powers, body, soul, true spirit, and consciousness to further increase greatly. Every amplified cultivation speed requires 100 low-grade immortal crystals. Ding! Because the host's cultivation level has increased to the early stage immortal king realm, the highest amplification state of AFK farming deduction has increased from 100 quadrillion times to a quintillion times. Ding! Detected that the host's cultivation level has increased to the early stage immortal king realm. The reward obtained by the late-stage Zenith Heaven Immortal Realm Game Dungeon, Endless Altar has been greatly reduced. You can charge 100 quintillion top-grade Immortal Crystals to open the new Immortal Realm Game Dungeon. Ding! Because the host's aptitude has already reached the limit of the upper world, the sublimation of the Heaven and Earth Great Dao to the host's body, soul, true spirit, and consciousness has already reached the limit. Your aptitude has reached the limit and the highest level. You can no longer continue sublimating and improving. Unless the host attains the Great Dao, your aptitude can go further and reach the myriad worlds realm. I've already broken through to the early stage Immortal King realm in the upper world and even transformed into the false chaos Great Dao body. However, my aptitude has still not transformed to the myriad worlds realm. Qi Ming pondered for a moment. What level is the myriad world's realm? He thought to himself, what special ability can it have? I'll charge one trillion high-grade immortal crystals. Qi Ming said, cultivate the chaos great Dao scripture, 
Upper World Immortal King section of the Immortal Realm Chapter. Ding! Cultivating the Chaos Great Deo Scripture, Upper World Immortal King section of the Immortal Realm Chapter under the enhancement of a quintillion times. A notification appeared. I'll charge immortal crystals and refine three intrinsic immortal treasures. Qi Ming continued. Ding! The Chaos Great Deo Sword Lotus is being refined under the enhancement of a quintillion times. Ding! The Chaos World Piercing Sword is being refined under the enhancement of a quintillion times. Ding! The Chaos Buzhu Mountain is being refined under the enhancement of a quintillion times. Three notifications appeared. I'll charge 100 quintillion top grade immortal crystals and activate the new Immortal Realm game dungeon. Ding! Charging successful. New Immortal Realm game dungeon has been successfully activated, Path of the Supreme Immortal King. You can enter. A notification appeared. Enter. The scene of the game dungeon appeared in front of Qi Ming. In the hazy chaos, a stone staircase that seemed to have no end appeared. This stone step looked ordinary, as if it was constructed from green stone slabs. However, upon careful observation, there were also profound Dao patterns on this stone step. This was a special path to become the Supreme Immortal King. After stepping onto this path, one had to advance step by step and could not retreat. On this path, enemies would appear one after another. Every enemy was at least at the late stage Immortal King realm in the upper world. The challenger who stepped onto this path to the Supreme Immortal King had to press forward courageously and never retreat. He had to defeat all his enemies and arrive at the end of this path. Ding! You can charge 100 quintillion top grade immortal crystals to activate the Immortal Realm game dungeon immersion mode. A notification appeared. Charge. Ding! Charging successful. Immortal Realm Game Dungeon Immersion Mode has been successfully activated. The 100 quintillion top grade immortal crystals transformed into a vast energy that quickly surged into Qi Ming's mind. A wisp of consciousness separated from Qi Ming's main consciousness. Next, Qi Ming needed to choose a game character. There was only one game character in the path of the Supreme Immortal King, and that was the game character, Challenger. In the blink of an eye, the game character, Challenger was successfully constructed. A wisp of Qi Ming's consciousness entered the game dungeon and the game character, stepping onto the path of the Supreme Immortal King. The challenge began. Next, he passed the rounds again and again. Qi Ming encountered enemies and traps one after another. Be it the enemies or the traps, they were all crushed by Qi Ming. In just three days, he successfully passed the path of the Supreme Immortal King. He had successfully cleared this early stage Immortal King Realm game dungeon. Ding! Congratulations, host! You have successfully cleared the Upper World Late Stage Immortal King Realm game dungeon, Path of the Supreme Immortal King. Currently tabulating the reward for clearing it. A notification appeared. I passed. The corners of Qi Ming's mouth curled up slightly, the difficulty of this so-called path of the Supreme Immortal King is only average, but it's much stronger than the Endless Altar. However, it's still very easy for me at this point. A wisp of Qi Ming's consciousness left the game character, Challenger. It left the game dungeon and returned to Qi Ming's main body. The wisp of consciousness that had been separated fused into his main body's consciousness. At the same time, the Immortal Realm game dungeon was also reset. Not long after, a notification appeared. Ding! The clearing reward statistics are complete. Congratulations, host! Under the circumstances that you have activated the immersion mode of the Immortal Realm game dungeon, you used three days to clear the early stage Immortal King Realm game dungeon, Path of the Supreme Immortal King. You have exceeded the limit of the Immortal Realm Game Dungeon Clearing Mission. The clearing reward has increased greatly. Reward, 1 Deo Validation Deo Fruit, 100 Sextillion Top Grade Immortal Crystals. A notification appeared. This Qi Ming was surprised, it actually directly rewarded me with a Deo Validation Deo Fruit. 
It really exceeded my expectations. I thought that I would continue to obtain the heaven and earth great Deo fragment or other treasures. Item, Deo validation Deo fruit. Introduction, a heaven and earth great Deo item from the early stage Immortal King Realm game dungeon, Path of the Supreme Immortal King. It contains a trace of the true intent of the heaven and earth great Deo and has combined with the mysteries of the heavenly Deo, the rules, and the laws. It can condense and transform into the Deo validation Deo fruit. It can be directly fused and absorbed. It is a key item to break through to the venerate realm and can increase one's comprehension of the heaven and earth great Deo. I see. Qi Ming basically understood. First, the heaven and earth great Deo fragment contained the true mysteries of the heaven and earth great Deo, but only existences at the great Deo cultivation level could absorb and fuse with it. The Deo validation Deo fruit was different. Although it was also a heaven and earth great Deo item, be it heavenly Deo cultivators, rule cultivators, law cultivators, or even normal cultivators, they could absorb and refine the Deo validation Deo fruit to complete the transformation and step into the venerate realm. For now, Qi Ming could directly absorb this Deo validation Deo fruit and increase his comprehension of the heaven and earth great Deo. There was a high chance of him reaching the initial phase, microsense large success realm. Qi Ming could also let the world's freedom Buddha absorb this Deo fruit of Deo validation. At that time, he would definitely be able to step into the venerate realm and break the limit of his growth potential. Compared to improving my immortal pet's strength, I prefer to increase my cultivation level. Qi Ming made his decision. Absorb. With a thought, the Deo validation Deo fruit in his inventory fused into Qi Ming's body. He circulated the Chaos Great Deo scripture and evolved the Heaven and Earth Great Deo furnace in his body to begin refining and absorbing it. I'll charge one trillion high-grade immortal crystals and refine the Deo validation Deo fruit. Ding! The Deo validation Deo fruit is being refined under the enhancement of a quintillion times. Time passed. In the blink of an eye, a month passed. Qi Ming had already successfully refined the Deo validation Deo fruit. His entire body shook as the primordial purple light flickered. The power of the heaven and earth great Deo supported his body. Between his brows, the mark of the great Deo became clearer. Qi Ming's comprehension of the heaven and earth great Deo had successfully reached the initial phase, microsense large success realm. While his comprehension of the heaven and earth great Deo increased, it also brought changes and improvement to his cultivation.